Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. And we're gonna be looking at past, present, and future energies for you in love, as well as the energies between you and the person that you are or will be dealing with. Keep in mind that these readings will not resonate for every Aries watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. What messages do you have for Aries regarding the person they are thinking about or in a connection with at this time? It's going to be for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind already, okay? For Aries. We have flirt, and I'm going to take this one too. Um, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This is very uh, new energy for me. Um, as a reader, flirt, usually you flirt with someone that you've recently met or interested in and same with express your love. This could also be that you've been flirting with someone or talking to someone, but you haven't fully opened up to each other. Bottom of the deck, I have wedding. This situation involves marriage. So hopefully that's not the case, but maybe this will lead to a long-term commitment or perhaps it is that one of you is already married or in a long-term commitment. So we'll see what else we get here. I'm using my brand new Energy Oracle deck, the physical version. I have this in digital form, but I have added some cards and changed some of the images, although some are still the same. Um, not sure if this is gonna be for sale yet in the shop. But I am enjoying using it. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about the energy surrounding this connection. What are the energies surrounding this connection for Aries? The energy surrounding this connection. Difficult decision. Options, choice, indecision. This decision could lead you down two different paths. Okay, what else? What are the energies surrounding this connection for Aries? Secret admirer, intrigue, watchful attraction. You've caught someone's eye. Very interesting. So you've caught someone's eye. Someone's watching you, but I'm not picking up for some reason. I'm not picking up that this is a person that you, you've you never talked to. I don't know why I'm picking that up, but I feel like lasting promise, commitment, longevity, future. This connection will stand the test of time. This is also a card for me for marriage. So there could be someone watching you, Aries, that's secretly admiring you, but they probably haven't made a decision because they're already in a commitment of some sort, or perhaps they're looking at you as someone that they could have a long-term commitment with. Um, this could also be you having a secret admirer of your own. So let's see, let's get some more information here with the tarot. Tell me more for Aries. We'll look at what's going on with the connection first, and then we'll look at each of you separately. So tell me more about this connection spirit between Aries and this other person. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this connection for Aries? We have Ace of Coin Reverse. Page of Wands. What else is going on here? Temperance Reverse, Sagittarius energy there. Very interesting. It's like something, okay, there's something that's not in balance, there's been some sort of a loss with Ace of Coin Reverse. This could be a broken commitment or some sort of offer that has been uh, retracted. Temperance Reverse is something that's still needing time, effort, energy to come together. It's it's not 
in balance at, at this time. And then in the middle of all this is a page of wands. This is like that secret admirer energy is what I'm picking up here. Like someone wants to talk or has some sort of interest despite everything else that's happening here. Let's clarify. Spirit, help me clarify these energies, please. For Aries. Keep seeing this Eight of Cups. Tell me about the Ace of Coin Reverse. Why is the Ace of Coin Reverse? Okay, I got two. Oh my God, okay. King of Swords Reverse, Queen of Swords Reverse. This is not, not a good uh, pair. This is, they don't get along, not good communicators, deceptive, petty, vindictive, manipulative. I feel like whatever commitment is not working or whatever offer, I mean, this could go both ways. I'm, I need to get more information, but it's like whatever happened here with this Ace of Coin reverse, two people are very upset or just not getting along at all. Tell me more about this. This could also be regarding money. Tell me, or a loss of a job. Tell me about the Ace of Coin reverse. What is going on here? Temperance reverse. So this is what's causing, there's frustration, impatience. Tell me more about this Ace of Coin reverse. Something is not working out here. I have the full reverse. Someone could have made a mistake and it caused problems. Someone probably um, was reckless and it caused problems here. They weren't thinking about the consequences of their actions or couldn't, I don't know, they just didn't think here. Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is, um, this is terrible energy here. All of these cards coming up reverse and I know I'm gonna get some comments like are, are your cards reverse no here's one that's not reverse here's another one here's an another one here that's not reverse 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 you see my deck is completely mixed so that's the message all of these cards that came out and it, what it's telling me is that there is someone that made a mistake and it affected a partnership Queen of Swords reverse, King of Swords reverse. These are two partners here that are not getting along and possibly even hate each other. <laughs> um, they're having a lot of fights, a lot of arguments. There's drama, there's manipulation back and forth, and it's causing a huge disconnect here. I don't know if this is you having this problem right now, Aries, or if this is the person that you're dealing with that has this problem outside of you, or if this is the issue between you and this person. It's going to be different for everyone. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? Eight of Swords, Reverse. Why is the Page of Wands here? Still wondering what this difficult decision is about. The moon reversed. This is something that's coming to the to the surface. Something, um, it's like someone's no longer afraid to speak up or to reveal something. The moon reversed. That could be a secret admirer, Pisces energy with the moon reverse. This is something that's being seen very clearly. Something that was hidden coming to the surface. Tell me more about the page of wands. And it's gonna be some sort of communication, um, a message, a text, a conversation. Look at this, death and the hangman. Scorpio energy with the death card. So I feel like there's some sort of change that someone wants to make here. An ending of some sort. And it's like they've been thinking about it and they've gotten clarity about this ending. And probably they want to talk about it. Can I get some more cards? What is the death card here? Tell me about death. 
Thank you. King of Cups reverse. Tell me about death. Ten of Wands reverse. So someone's letting go of a burden because probably they want the fighting to be over. They want the conflict to be over. Two of Cups reverse right after. So this could be an end of a relationship or a partnership here. Uh, what I'm seeing is this, it has been very emotionally, like it's been someone's not dealing well with this situation emotionally or it's been kind of weighing on them heavily. Tell me about the hangman. Ace of Wands reverse. Tell me about the hangman. Not the hangman. Yeah, someone is stuck. The devil came out. Capricorn energy. Tell me about the hangman. Yeah. So this is oh, this is not this is not good. <laughs> someone is stuck with with in a situation that isn't going anywhere. Possibly was a bad investment here. With the Empress reverse. They're not able to manifest, grow, or anything like that. I feel like they're realizing that this is a situation that they don't want to be in any longer. This could, again, this could be you or your person. But there's some, someone wants to put an end to something that's not working. Tell me about temperance reverse. And whatever this person's going to communicate, it's going to be like a revelation here. Something's going to be expressed. Tell me about Temperance Reverse. Seven of Wands. Tell me about Temperance Reverse, please. Okay. I'm picturing someone fighting for their happiness, fighting for their family. There could be children involved here. Tell me about Temperance Reverse. High Priestess. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Can you get one more, please? Why is Temperance reverse? Judgment reverse. The Sun. So someone's seeing very clearly that they made a bad judgment call here is what I'm seeing. I'm also thinking there's a child involved for some of you. This could also be a delayed reunion of some sort. There is a secret here. It's like someone has a secret happiness or, or something probably that they're fighting for in secret or wanting to stand up for. Um, I feel like these are emotions that are hidden. Um, probably someone discovered something, um, you know, related to finances or something like that. But, you know, whatever this is, someone is not doing well. Um, I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles reverse, <clears throat> excuse me, and the Empress reverse, these two cards for me as a reader, when they're reversed, it's like a partner that is not happy with being left. Especially the Queen of Pentacles reversed because they depend on this other person in some way. I feel like someone's fighting for a new beginning, yes, for going after what they truly want here. You know, like they want to have a new cycle. They want to make something work out for them here um something that they've been wishing for so i feel like someone here is fighting for an ending of some sort because they they want to be happy or because it's not good for the child or something like that here tell me about the ten of cups Can you tell me about the Ten of Cups, please? Page of Wands. Yeah, someone wants to talk to you about whatever's going on. Ace of Cups reverse, Five of Cups reverse. They're, they're, they're having regrets over the past and they want to talk about it. It's like they're going to tell you that they're going through something difficult. Ace of Pentacles higher font and the two of cups reverse so this is definitely a long-term commitment that someone i feel is regretting or is not happy in take it how it resonates 
So let's see, how are you feeling towards each other? What's going on between you here? Spirit, give me some insight into Aries and this other person. What are their energies at this time? What energies are they bringing to this connection? Aries and this other person. Tell me about the energy that Aries is bringing to this connection. What is the energy that Aries is bringing to this connection? Second chances. I keep getting this card. Rebirth, resurrection, revival. You're being given a second chance. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. What are the energies that they are bringing to this? Oh, okay. That one fell on the floor. Oh, okay. Hang on one second, guys. Bear with me. Of course, it fell like in the most awkward corner of the room. Okay. We got walking away. So remember that Eight of Cups... Departure, journey, movement, you're walking away towards something more fulfilling. So this person is thinking about walking away, probably already has. Hold on my mic. Um, bottom of the deck, I have past life. Memories, past life, nostalgia. You have had a connection with this person in the past. So this could be somebody that you've already had some sort of connection with already Aries <clears throat> now I have you on this side I have your person on the other but it can be flipped so feel free to flip it if it resonates more let's get some more tell me more spirit tell me more about these two Tell me more about Aries and the energy they're bringing to this connection. Tell me more about Aries. Frog. So this is healing energy. Renewal. So I feel like for you, it's like almost like you want a second chance with this person. You want to heal a connection with this person. Or you, you think this person is your next... Almost like um, a new cycle for you. This difficult decision could be walking away from someone or giving someone a second chance. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. What are their energies? Tell me more about their energies. Camel. Okay, so this is like a survivor energy. Someone who is... Um, use it has limited resources but uses them very well very strong determined I'm also picking up like a traveler. Like this person's gonna have to go on and probably already has gone in some sort of long journey here. So let's get more information with the tarot. Tell me more about Aries and this other person. for Aries, January 2021. Tell me more about Aries. Tell me about Aries. What is Aries thinking or feeling about this other person or regarding this connection? Tell me more about Aries. Four of coin reverse. Okay. Tell me more about Aries. Seven of wands reverse. So you are opening up in some way here. You're, guard, you're, you're letting your guard down. Um, you're not resisting this. Maybe at first you will be or you were we got one more for aries knight of cups yeah because i feel like you care about this person perhaps this person is going to apologize to you and that's going to break down some walls here or make you not be so guarded and not hold back so much tell me about the person that aries is dealing with 
Tell me about their person spirit. What is going on with them? The full reverse. Okay. Ah. Uh, death reverse. Okay. Okay. Can I get one more, please, for Aries and their person? Five of coin. Yes. So what I'm getting is your person. Yeah. There's the two of wands. That's the decision. The very different paths, whatever decision this is. Your person is being delayed or they are having difficulties. And I think it's financially. And I think that's why the camel is here. I think that this person is trying to not make a mistake. They're trying to do this the easiest way they can or in a way where they don't have to lose as much. Um, death reverse tells me that this person's probably being prevented or delayed by someone. Let's see. Tell me more. For Aries, please. This other person. Tell me about death and the full reverse. Tell me about death and the full reverse, please. Yeah. So this person, yeah, I have the lovers at the bottom, Gemini energy here. This person, I feel the partnership that they are in is causing delays. Can I, and I feel like they're trying to do this the smart way also because they're thinking about you in some way the magician yeah it's like they're trying to manifest something here and to do that they are needing to be free of something nine of pentacles reverse three of wands reverse i feel like they're frustrated because they're probably having delays or setbacks with the person that they're with tell me about the five of coin i don't think they're going to be um, prevented from going after what they want but they're definitely going to be delayed Tell me about the five of coin. Yeah, wish um, their wish is going to be the wish is going to be delayed because there's going to be, or there's going to be compromises. They're not going to get everything that they hoped. Five of Pentacles, please. Yep, five of Cups, Queen of Wands. So I feel like they're having, you know, so there's going to be disappointments here. This five of coin is some sort of financial loss or. They're going to have a lot of struggles and there's regrets here. They're regretting the fact that, you know, they got themselves into this mess. And, you know, with the magician and the queen of wands, though, I feel like they're attracted to you or motivated by you to or motivated by the idea of, of having some getting rid of this, basically. But they just want to let it go. This is what I see. Now let's see what, what are they going to do next. Actually, let me see what this Knight of Cups is about. Regardless of what happens, this person is motivated to, ha to get whatever they need to do done. So whether it's getting rid of this partnership or whether it's coming into union with you in a new partnership, like they're manifesting whatever they need to do. But it's not going to be, that's why they have the camel here. They have to be survival. They have to be resourceful and think like a survivor, basically. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. What's this Knight of Cups about for Aries? Page of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about this Knight of Cups for Aries. Five of Pentacles. <laughs> Tell me about the Knight of Cups for Aries. Page of Swords reverse, and then they have the Knight of Pentacles. So what this is telling me is it's going to take, I feel like they're going to apologize for the fact that, you know, they can't give you anything right now. They're not financially stable. Um, perhaps in the past, they weren't completely honest with you about how they felt, but they're working on it. They're working on it. Look at this. They're working on it, Aries. They're walking away from what they need to walk away and having courage. It's just going to take a while. So let's see, what are their next actions going to be towards you or this connection? 
what is this person's next actions going to be towards Aries or this connection spirit? What are their next actions going to be? Five of Cups. What are their next actions going to be? The Sun. Wow. Three of Swords Reverse. So I feel like whatever their um, their next actions are going to involve possibly healing this connection or dealing with the third party energy, whatever other situation they have. Um, there's regrets here. They probably are missing you a lot. Or perhaps they're just looking at the past and thinking, what did I get myself into? There's clarity here with the sun. Once again, the sun also could be something to do with children. I just keep getting that message that this person could have a child or you have a child. Maybe there's multiple children. That's not for everyone, but I am getting that message. And that's why the financial part of it is so difficult. Um, and also why walking away it's, is such a difficult decision. Why this has to be um, something that this person thinks about. So what I'm getting here is that the next, their next actions I feel are going to be to either bring something to light or deal with the past. If this resonated for you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy the readings. Thank you so much to everyone who's already done that. I really appreciate you um, supporting the channel and continuing to watch my readings. And I will see you all in another video. Take care.